first like to start this video off with saying rest in peace to Busi, um who we knew as Dumi on season three on season one and two. She played a very big role in this season in season one and two and season three wasn't really the same without her. Um yeah. Rest in peace. The true question to ask is Blood and Water season three, how to Christmas season three. Which one was better? But I'll leave that up to you to decide. I have done a Blood and Water Season 3 review, so I will leave that link up somewhere here or in the description box in the description box down below. With How to Ruin Christmas Season 3, right? The whole storyline I loved because that's something that the writers of How to Ruin Christmas never go wrong with. What I don't like that the writers of How to Ruin Christmas do is that every season we get in three episodes. Like blood and water, we got six. Like, why? Like, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? No, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> like for real, guys. Like this whole three episode thing. Mm -mm, it's not it. But I've gotten used to it. I think it like it makes you focus higher. You know, during, during when you're watching the episodes, like you're not gonna. Watch the watch How to Ruin Christmas while doing something else. Like you have your time for watching How to Ruin Christmas. So I think it's a good strategy on the producers, the writers' point of view. But as the viewer, I'm like that. I also need to mention that the Tawang Mule um, feature in I think it was episode two. Love that. Loved that so so much because like I look up to that guy. Like bye bye bye. Like yo like. I don't think I will be a director, but like, God's plan, you know, so whatever God's plan is, that's where I will go in the future, but that guy inspires me so much, like, yo, 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 people don't understand, so I'm gonna... Something that I do really love about How to Ruin Christmas is that they split season one, season two, season three into not just season one, season two, season three, it is clearly, I think, organized into the wedding, the funeral, the baby shower. So that there's just a sense of organization. I feel like the 5% OCD in me loves that, you know? I just, I never, it's something that I don't think many have thought about if they aren't the first people to do that, but many probably haven't thought about splitting it into the wedding, the funeral, the baby shower, and not just saying season one, season two, season three love that so much i think that was such a good idea because it's just so clear like even when season four comes out you'll be like the wedding then you know remember what happened you know ha remember what happened in season two with the funeral you know remember what happened in season three with the funeral with the wedding with the with the baby shower <laughs> with the baby shower so when season four comes out it will also be very clear because they also they won't say season four they will say the topic for season four so that it's going to be very clearly organized love that so much i personally i personally really enjoyed blood and water season three and house during christmas season three um a lot of people are saying blood and water was better some people are saying um how to christmas was better um but that's something we can talk about in the other week um last but not least um a very dear rest in peace to S shadrick shadrick cedric whatever Shadrick, Cedric, Shadrick, Succulent, Silom. I think it's the second. A moment of silence. You will be dearly missed. I ain't gonna trust you anymore. Look, what you've done is turn this heart cold. I don't know if I can love it. To the end of the video, make sure to comment down a uh, Christmas tree emoji, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.